Hello, K-Wave listening family. It is Brian Perez from K-Wave 107.9, Southern California's home for worship and the word. And I've got a very special guest in the studio. It is one of the newest additions to the K-Wave weekday lineup. If you tune in at 2.30, Monday through Friday afternoon, right before Pastor's Perspective, you've been hearing a new voice. But yet it may not be a new voice to a lot of you because she's... Nancy DeMoss Walgamuth, formerly known as Nancy Lee DeMoss. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Brian. It is so good to have you here. Thank you. And we are thrilled to be in the K-Wave studios for the first time for our team. And uh, so thankful to be a part of this family now. We love the staff we've met. We love their heart. The, uh, The worship and the word. Yes. What, like, more wonderful thing could there be? <laughs> exactly. Because exactly. the whole human race story is God getting worship for himself. That's how it started. That's how it's going to end. And we learn to be worshipers of Christ through the word. So I love the theme. I love the emphasis. I love Mm -hmm. the heartbeat of this ministry. Now, if anybody is not familiar with you and your ministry, so let's just talk to those three or four people that are there now. (laughs) Introduce yourself to them. What do you tell them? They're tuning in at 2.30 and they're hearing this new voice and they're wondering, who is this? Tell them. Well, I'm, I, I was not married until just about three and a half years ago, 57 for the first time. The Lord brought a precious widower into my life, and I did not ex- I expected to be single the rest of my life. So that's the name change that Brian was referring to. And so this is a, that was a sweet season of my life. This is a sweet season of my life because uh, whatever season God has you in, if you receive it as a gift, it's sweet. But I've been serving the Lord in ministering to women for all my adult life longer than that, actually, Uh, doing women's conferences, uh, writing books, primarily focused on women, and then the radio pod and podcast ministry of Revive Our Hearts since 2001, which was the successor uh, to Elizabeth Elliot's Gateway to Joy. Some of you who are in my demographic will remember Elizabeth Elliot, who's now with the Lord. And so uh, the the, uh, tagline for our ministry is calling women to freedom, fullness, and fruitfulness in Christ. So I'm a woman who is just seeking to follow Christ, to know him, to love him well, to walk with him, and then out of the overflow of that, to share the journey that I'm on, what God's teaching me through his word, to share it with others. So really, I don't mean this in a self-deprecating way, but there's nothing extraordinary or unique or particularly special about me. I'm a woman who every day, feels my desperate need for Jesus and for his grace. And as I receive that, I just try to be a channel to share that with other women. So it's a great journey that we're on together. And I love being able to do that through this ministry now. We started uh, announcing a few, about a week or so before the program went on K-Wave. And uh, I had some ladies at church come up to me on a Sunday morning did you guys say Nancy DeMoss is going to be on K-Wave? I said, yes. And they were so excited. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. So they've been following you for a while. You've written, how many books have you written? I've got a few of them here. This one here called Adorned, Living Out the Beauty of the Gospel Together. You're also known for the Lies Women Believe. And then the companion, Lies Young Women Believe. How many do you have all together? You know, I think that I've written 19 And then my husband, Robert, has written over 20. And then we just wrote our first one together, which we'll release in September. It's called You Can Trust God to Write Your Story. Mm. And it's about embracing the mysteries of providence. When God's plans for our lives don't match up with what they think we thought they would be, right. and when we don't understand what God is about in times of pain or loss or confusion, uh, how do we trust God to write our story when it seems like maybe it's going off script? So that's the 20th for me. How is the Revive Our Hearts radio program? There's, um, It's not just, m- most of the programs on K-Wave are you know, from a pastor's church, so they're church sermons edited down over two or three uh, episodes, but yours is I'm a not the bit pastor different. Right. of any church. And sometimes you have guests with yes. you. Sometimes we even hear from other speakers. So what's the format? You know, um, I actually teach the about half the programs myself. I'm just opening the word and teaching it. And we do that with a small live 
audience. So I am not just speaking to a microphone, but I'm actually engaging with women, looking in their faces, knowing something about their stories. So that helps me to connect with them and knowing that if it connects with them, it's going to connect with uh, those who are listening later on the radio. And then other programs, I'm talking with friends, women I've met or read their book who love Christ, love his word, and I want to unpack their story and have them share what God has taught them on their journey. And then occasionally I'll hear another woman bring a message that I say, our listeners, our Reviver Hearts family have got to hear this message. So we'll share that. But really, it's a, it's a community of women who love and are seeking Christ, sharing together, helping to disciple women, helping women to embrace their calling as women, and also asking God to send revival to our own hearts, a fresh love for Jesus, but also to our churches, to our nation, to our world, and believing that, you know, I think of, um, I'm not much of a gardener at all, and how sometimes I just forget about my plants, and what happens if they don't get some care, they, they wither, they droop, but sometimes I look at them and I think, it's dead. Well, it's not really dead. It just needed some watering, some care. And then you water it and you see it just spring back to life. I think that's what God's word does in reviving our hearts. We have the world like an ivy going into our arm 24-7, right? Uh, We're listening to social media and letting it so much write the agenda for our lives, things that people tell us, things that we experience. And How much of this word of God, the scripture, do we have putting into our lives? So I think of this daily program as kind of a daily drip, drip, drip. And along with the other amazing programs that K-Wave offers, just as people are able to listen in their car or um, at, at, in their cube at work, depending what kind of work they have, and, uh, or in their home, wherever you listen, The word of God coming into your heart is going to be powerful. It's going to quicken you. It's going to enliven you. And it's going to give you what you need to then face your circumstance at your college dorm or in your home or in your workplace or in your church. Uh, It's going to help you to be the woman that God wants you to be. And we're going to grow together. This is not me bringing like untold wisdom uh, to the women of the world. I'm just a woman who needs God's wisdom and God's grace, like you do. And uh, so I'm just thankful for the opportunity for us to grow together and see God revive our hearts. That would be a great name for the program. Oh, it is the name of the program. It is. That's right. Revive Our Hearts, weekday afternoons at about 2.30 here on K-Wave 107.9. How do people find out more about you and maybe purchase some of your materials and uh, listen to past episodes. Yes, reviveourhearts.com is the website, and there are so many resources available there, most of them free, all kinds of articles and things you can search. All our past archived programs are there, both the audio and transcripts, word for word of the daily program. You may want to follow along with that. Uh, a lot of resources available uh, for purchase there, but um, our goal is to serve you. And let me say, because I know we're here in Southern California where there's um, A lot of Spanish-speaking element here. We also have a sister ministry, a daughter ministry, Aviva Nuestros Corazones. And you can go to that website, avivanuestroscorazones.com, and find all of these resources available in Spanish as well. So um, that's to serve you. Take whatever you can use. Let it bless you. And so many women came up to me this past weekend when I was speaking at a church, a Calvary church here in Mm -hmm. Southern California doing a women's conference. And they told me how they've been listening to the podcast for years because it wasn't available on radio here in Southern California till now. Mm -hmm. But they've been reading these books, using these resources, younger women, older women, everything in between and telling me some beautiful stories of how God has been reviving their hearts and saying, in fact, two young women came up to me and said, you've been mentoring my mom through our mom through this ministry for years. And the impact of that has so shaped our lives that we just wanted to say thank you to you. And now they're involved in leading worship Mm -hmm. at one of these Calvary Chapel churches. So that's the life to life 
growing together. And uh, thanks for letting us be a part of your life and of this family. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's Revive Our Hearts with Nancy DeMoss Walgamuth. Weekday afternoons at about 2.30 here on K-Wave 107.9. Nancy, thank you so much for stopping by the studios. Enjoy your visit here in Southern California. How much longer are you here? We're headed to Northern California day after tomorrow okay. uh, to do another women's conference there. Mm-hmm. So we're about a week in South and about a week in North. And, Very nice. Uh, just having come from almost two weeks of ministry in South Africa. So there's a 10-hour time difference oh, wow. between wow. there yeah. and here. So I'm not sure always what day or time it is, but <laughs> uh, really thankful for what God's doing through the K-Wave ministry here. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brian. Well, God bless you. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is K-Wave 107.9, your home for worship and the Word.